right, what's going on, everybody? I am the one, the only, the W O O K I E. Joined here, a few misfits short. We have one in Budapest, one that won't be coming, and it's an odd show today, due to the fact of there's this little thing. What's going on tomorrow? We're headed to something. What is it? Um, Renfest. Work. We're all oh, work. Perfect. No sillies. It's Keyforge Celebration. KFC two extra crispy. We'll be coming to you live this weekend. I believe TTR will be doing the streaming. Is one star Pete when they are too? not playing, they will be doing. Streaming. Well, I okay. So from what I heard, you know, because I I got I got all the tea. Um, Sydney will be doing a lot of the casting, but it will be on TTR's channel. I might make an appearance, but as she well. is I also decided. playing. So, like as far as Friday goes. I don't think anyone is casting anything on Friday. Maybe I'll be there. I enjoy You're talking. Gonna be I enjoy talking to nobody. I actually thought about not doing the qualifier. Believe it or not. Well, then I'm not bringing the damn deck for you. Well, but I'm going to play in the the open. Why would you do this? What do you mean? I'm saying what you're saying is stupid. <laughs> to, to you? So, okay. Yeah. So, so I, I, I view my chances at Sealed Alliance as slim. Bought another couple decks last night. I pulled a, uh, a 78 and a 66. So at least so, I guess I broke the 74 streak. But your chances are the same as anyone else's. I suppose. I, I keep saying that I probably won't, but... Uh, my crack addiction will get to me and I'll do it any, I'll just do it anyway, because you know, reasons, yeah. um, I'm like, this makes the most sense to me. I don't have a chance in 2023, so I'll make my chance in 2024, but I'll probably just end up going into the open scrubbing out and end you up can go anyway. into the open. Even if you do scrub out in the LCQ, no, I know not that's luck. I, I'm a, I well no because they're you can't well you okay so yes you can but you gotta you, you gotta scrub out because worlds and the open will be running simultaneously. You're saying if you made the worlds cut right, you would then choose to play in the open. This is even no. Getting more I I would probably end up playing in worlds <laughs> against my better judge. Well, okay, so even even then. I don't know what my chances are of beating Nova. I guess Zero. as good as anyone else's. Zero? Well, Perfect. Yeah, Zero. that's pretty much it, what the field says. It roughly says. rounds to zero, but it like, there's, a chance, zero. <laughs> there's a chance that someone else eliminates her and you don't even have to face her. That is also a possibility. Um, that's I just, what a lot of people are hoping for. I, so just, like... did the, I just did the calculations. <laughs> You're all fucked. Um... <laughs> It was real quick calculations. Nobody wants to pair against Nova. There's like maybe five decks on the planet that would be a, like, it, well, that's not true. There's maybe five decks in the competitive known field that would pair well against her. So like lots of people are banking on those five decks not only show up, are piloted by someone that knows what's going on and then randomly pair against Nova twice. So there's a lot of people that are hoping for that and, scenario. Well, hold on. I don't they think that's happening. They also have to win. Don't forget that portion. Well, that's the first. Thing like you do. just you painted Christmas land, and then you're like, oh, but it also has to snow on your birthday, and your birthday's on a leap year. Again, like if those players pair, like well, again, if they those players show up, have the decks that I'm talking about, and then pair to her. That would be a rough day for her. Like all that has to happen twice, right? So, oh, well, hence we all picked Nova to win. Two, because... and it also has to be two different people. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's what it's, right. right. Well, it doesn't actually have to be two different people because the same person could beat her both days. Right? I suppose. Well, it's a top four cut, right? She, yeah, it's still the, the scenario I just said. Still the same. Like she could lose one game day one, and then lose another game day two. Same person. Uh, uh, yeah, great. Still not liking my chances, but the reality of the situation is I will more than likely go against my better judgment, and that's fine. 
I do it all the time. Um, so either way, we'll be looking uh, forward still, to some fun. I do have an Archon deck that can beat her. I've done it. Um, I and just don't know if I'm playing Archon. Faith could show up. Faith is heavily favored. Faith would be a uh, a good one. So and someone even that is the only person that got a pick to win Archon other than Nova from our, our poll. Yeah. It yeah. was like eight people picking Nova and then one person picks it on the Sandhopper deck. Okay, so all we know for the open is that there is first place is qualified for worlds next year. They haven't announced any other prizing for it. I don't know if there is any other prizing. I'm, like I'm, I'm looking for those crisp high fives. I don't know about you. Okay. So I'm just saying like Josh is just gonna give you, you a handy. I mean like a handshake, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh those God, yeah. you, got my, you got my you got my hopes up there, Z. Okay. So that just the chance of like there there's one possibly valuable prize and we have absolutely no idea because they have spoiled no other prizing yep and for worlds well you know top four is cash right so yeah yeah i wouldn't expect more i mean we got plaques for top four and all the other vaults so i would expect something for top four for worlds whether it's a plaque or whatever we had mats in for the they had mats for the grand championships there were mats at kfc Dude, when are they just gonna do title belt i mean now I, uh, I think there now should I be a world championship for. key forge crucible t- title belt. That'd be something. I got, I got something to play for now. So if, if I was in the actual event, like the um the one that's not the open, I would expect something for top four. I I I really don't know what they're gonna do for the open. All we know is the the one thing that might be it. Uh, so and then a, then like a handful of woe decks. Yeah. Oh, hey, I, made top I, eight. I don't, here's, I don't here's even a know if you're going to get that. And some sleeves from last year. It'll be like what they gave away for the... Um... <laughs> here's a chain tracker. Yeah, the, it'll be similar. <laughs> pri- I think it'll be similar prizes to Grand Championships, where it'll be stuff from the FFG vault of prizes. But oh. it'll just be old FFG stuff. Oh. And maybe I mean, they, they gotta, make, yeah, maybe they they make they some need, They need maps. warehouse space if they're going to ever make new stuff, right? Yeah. So she, where were we finding yesterday when we were at our locals about the top four cut? Because it's very clearly on keyforging.com activities, Archon Open Finals. The top eight of the Archon Open compete for an invite to the Keyforge 2024 Archon World Championship. Well, that's just something they publish in writing. We know that doesn't necessarily ever happen. So, <laughs> <laughs> Much like local. Oh, sorry. That's definitely Wait. coming in 2023. 2024. <laughs> Like, didn't they already change it from January to March or something on the game found right now? Uh, no. Does it still say January? I have no idea. I didn't check. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I know at one point it did say January. If you told me it also said September, I'd still believe you. It's. Uh, where is. Is there. I don't even know where to see that date. Um. Either way, we're going to have a ton, a ton of fun. Uh, make sure you're following us on all the social medias. I will be doing some streaming something for the opening ceremonies and more than likely the, uh, what is it called? Meet the ghosts? The yes, ghosties? The yeah, the ghosties. So I'll probably be streaming that if we're still there because uh, that's oh. actually happening late. Happening at like what is it Wait. four o'clock? Yeah, I know we're all getting there tomorrow night, but when are y'all leaving? Uh, Sunday. So that's what we're talking about. Is Sunday we have finals, we have the closing ceremonies at three p.m. and then meet the ghost at four p.m. And that is if everything stays on the time schedule. Last year that was not the case. Hmm. Um, so we'll see. Nope, it definitely was not the case. They did not make their time schedule by any means. Yeah, well, the reason I state that is because I actually was debating about taking Monday off as well. And 
unlike many people who just get to call in and say, hey, I'm not showing up tomorrow. I actually have to have all the work there um, for my kids. And so that was kind of the decision. Because if we leave at a normal time, I mean, even if it shows up four to five for talk with the ghosts, and then we grab dinner, we still have another five hour trip. That's not bad. I'm looking at, you know, between 11 and 12 o'clock to be able to I'm make it. I'm definitely see you taking Monday off. Yeah, I already did. I took Monday off. I'm flying on Monday. I, I understand, but I like being with my kids. I like teaching. So, well, world has only happened once every four years. So, <laughs> hey, hey, this is our positive news. We're having just, worlds, guys. I we are having sip, worlds. I took a sip of water and you got me. You got me. <laughs> I mean, we've been waiting on this for four years. The pre release or event for this game was November 2018, folks. What? <laughs> hey, 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 this is our second company. First one, FFG. It's been we, did, we didn't get worlds. Years. We didn't get worlds, but GG's coming through for us. Oh. I, I hope so. We just got to make it two more days. We got this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Again, and then then there will be some soccer tournament that they have to reschedule. <laughs> so, go, cool, guys. By the way, we have a blizzard. Sorry. Not having it. Oh, oh Jesus. Could you imagine? Oh, they got to cancel it because of the giant blizzard? Oh. There's no um, blizzard the, planned or scheduled. No, or no, like, no. Okay. The, the weather was showing perfectly fine there. Oh, I just, I had a mild panic attack there for a minute. Uh, but uh, that's not what we're here to talk about. Well, we are here to talk about that. But the main thing uh, we wanted to go over before Worlds, obviously tons of content. Make sure, uh, make sure you're following TTR on Twitch. Make sure you're following us on uh b- 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 YouTube. YouTube. There you go. And I I don't know who else is scheduled to do anything. Um well, but pay attention to Discord. We'll go ahead and post things when we find them out, and that's the best way to be able to grab information and stay up to date. Yep. Well, we'll do what we can. But uh retailer pledges. I don't know if they were quote unquote announced, but we have them. We know what they are. Um, I suppose we should give this one over to Dan, huh? Yeah. And so what we did know about coming in with the game found, uh, Grim Reminders pledge was that there was a retail pledge. It was simply us $5. It said restricted to tabletop game retailers, only retail pledge level to service brick and mortar tabletop hobby retailers. And this was one of the differences between, um, woes, uh, Game found campaign and grim reminders, but sheep, you got some more information for us. So what are we looking at? Well, they had their FAQ up, so it told you a little bit more about it. But ultimately, it was five dollars, and then GG would reach out to you and set you up with, um, Janet, the information to buy directly from them. So you'll get a one-time opportunity to buy directly from Ghost Galaxy without having to deal with Asmodee in the U.S. Um, and they had a kind of cooler retailer pledge, right? It's um, They had three levels they're offering. It's small, medium, or large. And it's either three boxes, six boxes, or 12 boxes, right? That's what it was? Yep. Yeah. So, so the small pledge... Um, well, but there's more to it, right? Well, yeah, so it's it's three, six, or twelve um boxes, and then in addition to those, you either get six, twelve, or eighteen uh decks that have your store name in it, and you get to have your store logo put on it. So that's a change that's really from cool. the last time they did it. I think it's really cool. That so is a awesome. really, really like that's actually called marketing. That's Let's start with the small pledge. Small pledge, you're gonna get three uh Keyforge Grim Reminder displays, six custom Keyforge Grim Reminders decks with your store logo and name, and then you will also get a Keyforge poster and POP material for the medium Which is point of purchase. So it's just a display or a it's sign a or something. Right there at your counter. Yep. And then yeah. for the medium retailer pledge, uh, six six displays, 
12 custom Grim Reminders decks, uh, one Keyforge Menagerie display, and then same thing, uh, poster and pop material. And then, yeah, 12, 18 custom decks, three displays of Menagerie. Uh, you're going to get a Floomph plush, plush with a large pl pledge. And, uh, again, more Keyforge and pop material. But I think the bigger thing this does... Um, which I don't really, I didn't see anybody talking about, but maybe I'm stupid and didn't just see it. This gives Josh a point of contact for somebody. Well, actually, to do this at all, you have to sign up for a retailer account with Ghost Galaxy. Well, yes. and I'm sure that's not difficult. At least I hope it's not difficult. I, I hope it's not difficult. So then you have that account, um, which gives them, yes, that point of contact for future OP and stuff. They also, though, they're... In their disclaimer that I saw is international. Um, international is still not great because you're responsible for your shipping and VAT and whatever other crazy imports there's going to be to get that stuff to you. All the value added tax and all that and the shipping. Yeah. I mean, I don't <clears throat> know how you make it better for internationals. I mean, it's. It's tough, right? Like without. Without having some importing thing already set up, it's it's pretty rough. I mean, is it better for is it better for internationals to go through asthma day at that point or not really? I don't think asthma asthma day isn't an international. They're not an international distributor. Not asthma day USA. Oh, wait, okay, so Asmodee, again, isn't handling the overseas accounts? Right, oh, no, the, the I, Asmodee I, I, I distribution, last time. well, Asmodee, so Asmodee is a ginormous company, right. but specifically, Keyforge Distribution is just USA Asmodee, which is just U.S. Games Distribution, so, like, Lion Imports, I think, is the name of the people doing it in Canada, and I don't know who the other distributors, but they need distributors in other countries to take on distributing Keyforge in those areas. It is not Asmodee outside the U.S. at all. Oh, OK. Yeah, it's a nightmare that I can't solve. Sorry, guys. Not that I can solve anything before, but. Uh, looking like it's going to be a bigger problem. Again, for um, for internationals, I don't know. Any any ideas? Anything? No. 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 I I, I don't have anything. So. Uh, again, you're like you're in your a uh, realm of stuff that just is not our expertise. Why would we know any of this stuff? Um, I know I'm probably gonna phone stream. The keynote, which I expect a lot of the same from last year, just, you know, 2023 will now say 2024. Um, I'll, I'll be, be doing pleased. that, Wizard, 2028, is that what you said? It's a copy-paste. Copy-paste, Control-V, Control-C. Yep. Yep, Control-A, Control-V, Control-C. So... Um, but I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And that's, I mean, what else we got? I mean, I know Ewok wants to do his Won't You Be no, Neighbor segment. I'm super excited for these pledges. I think that out of the eye, the loco's good. Um, the rate at which you're getting, um, decks to sealed <laughs> decks, like it's better than one per box. Right, so you can run reasonable side sealed tournaments with your player base and give away a deck, right? And, yes. Yeah. No, and I I think that that marketing do well. pack is really good. It's placed good with the target market as far as like what the community is playing for. Like the the I, most ironic and frustrating thing about this is like that's probably one of the best marketing packages that they've gotten. And had they actually marketed it before. More people would have signed up for it. But whatever. There's always the thing of a day late and a dollar short. 
and it seems like uh, GG is like, there. I, well, but, like but if I, I had known that that's what that was going to be, I could have got four or five of us at the stores and that used to run this game to sign up for that. But like my own local, which we've never not had Keyforge on the weekends during this whole damn time, didn't sign up for it because like I wasn't able to give them any more information than it says, hey, you might have a business relationship with GG this way. But they're a platinum store, and they get a whatever the max discount is from their wholesaler, which would be Asmodee anyway. Like, I wasn't able to tell them anything else. I, I know Z, that can be really frustrating, especially trying to work with the store. And you know, can be. Well, but, but, okay, it, 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 it was. But my question is, was there a component? And I don't know because I wasn't there in the negotiation. But they're still under contract with Asmodee for distribution, and so there had to be some discussions as to what they could actually offer for um well, there has to be discussions on what they could offer but they can give information but what i'm I mean, saying is they may not have had that information they may not have actually closed on this deal early enough if because they had closed on the deal then they shouldn't have even had the pledge there well, yeah, that I'm going to so, agree with so because you had like, to have known you were going to do something as a. I mean, you can't tell me that they just came up with this pledge. I mean, like, maybe, maybe they did. I don't know. Like, literally, how long was the game found? It was what a month. So, so you, I guess my question is: is if you have a if you have a meeting set up with another company, you can go ahead and say, "Hey, on this date, we're going to be talking about it," but you may not have finalized agreed upon terms. And as a result, you can't publish those. I don't know. But again, this is hypothesizing. And I do think that that's an important idea to get out that can oh. we communicate with stores? Yes. Great. I'll grab your information. Oh, now we have this finalized and we get it out to the stores. It, it came late, but that's all that I can guess. Because frankly, if I'm Asmodee, I don't want to be going ahead and giving up that right. Um, because as, it's just no, great. no, it's, no, it's, no, it, no. But, Oh, no, Asmodee does not give a fuck about GG. Like, well, Keyforge is it, it, such a drop in the bucket for Asmodee. Like, it doesn't even matter anymore. Like, you, I'm surprised you, they're holding them accountable to any of this. To be say to any that, of the contract. Everybody's, everybody's margin is still there, and they're trying to be able to make a buck. And the end result is by Asmodee actually giving this up, they're hoping potentially long Again, term. I, I think that all of this is false, JR. Like this, you're okay. talking about like a whale in a goldfish. I in understand. I understand there markets. is a very, very big size discrepancy between the two, but I'm telling you something doesn't add up when you're looking at the pledge that was shown and what we can now see is actually coming to the retailers. So that well, tells no, me it, that it there, does there's other up. information that's missing. It does add up because this is like Gigi's mo. This is what bad like, I get, I, I, right? I, I, like this is I, kind I, of their mo. I'm like confused. What are you saying? It's missing. He, he's saying that there's a component missing in all of this, right? No, I'm saying that the, it doesn't make sense just to have a straight pledge with no specifics. And so as a result of not oh. seeing the specifics there, oh. I, I think that there were more in negotiations than it was finalized. I don't think that they actually had it finalized. Uh, no. I, don't, I don't think I, I actually they were talking about this on another show, but there is some pushback on retailer pledges and announcing what it is in the retailer pledge and making it public because then people come in and they use that as reasons to buy cheaper and places have had bad experiences Experience. with that um but then again i'm with you this is gg so like were they did they have this like fully in. planned or they're like right up to the last minute can we add this or they're like oh we didn't sell nearly as many flumes as we expected so we can put some flumes in these boxes yeah. that would make more sense to me then I, Again, I, I don't think there's some secret scheme of Asmodee trying to hold on to whatever small stranglehold they have on Keyforge. Like, I just, I, I'm not, yeah, I don't I'm even know if Asmodee still knows what Keyforge is. I'm not saying that it's a stranglehold. Most but the I'm reps don't. You, well, and we can see that that's an issue. I think Gigi's trying to be able to get out from under the contract that was agreed upon when Gigi acquired yeah, Keyforge. And 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 that's that's this that's a pushback to do with the marketing part of this like this 
No, but what it has to do with is when GG purchased, they had distribution going through Asmodee, which has caused issues for the game since that we've gone ahead and had it. That That's what I'm saying. And so by going ahead and circumventing them, because they did it through GameFound already, there hasn't been as much sales. Now coming back, you have this discussion of, hey, can we go ahead and offer this retailer pledge? But I don't think Asmodee would have anything to do with what they're going to offer as a retailer pledge. Oh. It's not about what they're offering. It means, can they actually do it? Maybe this here for retail pledge simply is, can I get your contact? Because they didn't have it finalized. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you have to have agreed upon terms, if GG goes ahead and just says, hey, guys, I'm going to go ahead and offer boxes They've now broken the contract with Asmodee. So they, they, they already made that what, what else were they that, gonna, what else that were they, they gonna, got permission from Asmodee to sell direct from this game found. Like that right. was. They but that's changed, what I'm they saying. They were clear they that changed the contract. Correct, but yeah. they had to get permission. But and what, what I'm else, saying is what that else we're all there. disagreeing with you today, Jay. What else are they that, gonna? I mean, fine. what else were they gonna offer? Like it, it's not like they're like, oh, well, we're gonna offer singles, like because that wouldn't make sense. Like, what else would they offer besides boxes? Well, notice that this is a very, very general game found. It literally says restricted to tabletop game retailers only. Right, retail pledge level to service brick and mortar tabletop hobby retailers, and that would make if sense. You- and that would be in line with what Sheep said. Like, they can't like. They've had game found has had problems in the past with retailer pledges saying that like people were trying to get in on the cheap. Yeah, no, so, that it makes sense, but I'm saying you can't offer if you haven't agreed upon the terms. So again, we weren't in that meeting, and I know that unfortunately GG's a small team and they don't have things planned and organized. We can see that from past practice. So the idea of having this retailer, again, we like what they have now given to the retailers, but it's very possible they didn't publicize it because they just didn't have it in time. That's what I'm saying. No, they were never going to, like, most places, well, I don't know. I don't actually watch that many game founds. Um, I don't think they were ever going to publish their their stuff Retailer publicly. pledge package? Because I can't yeah. even get them... It is, it's actually interesting, and it's on my list on the Meet GG. Um, if they Talk have to Alex the there, all my questions are for Alex and the retail garbage that's going on. The fact that our stores can't get boxes, but this goddamn online retailer keeps having sales at less than my cost. Like, what is going on? Why is this continuing to happen? We can't get boxes, but this guy can keep selling them below what I pay for him. Like that, that stuff is, those are where my questions are on this. Uh, speaking and they're, of, they're, they're like, oh, that's all asthma day. That's all asthma day. That's what they keep saying. But it's like, then do something about it. Well, so at that point, of, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be like, oh, asthma day is selling it below cost, right? Like that's well, the no, line so of thinking. What, what's going on there is like my store is a, standard brick and mortar platinum or something with Asmodee. So we get, we're like tier X and we get an average of 42% off or something. Right. Mm -hmm. And this place is an online, probably with a brick and mortar too, super gold premium handsies behind the dumpster, (laughs) you know, and they're getting stuff at 55 or 60 because they probably do sell quite a bit more than mine. Classy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Asthma day, you know they do it dirty. Classy. Um, so they they probably do get a bigger discount than my store does because they move more stuff. I mean, it makes makes sense to some degree. Well, and if you're buying in a different level of bulk, like 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 a store is going to buy, I don't know, two thousand displays, but right? They, like they like haven't stores had don't that work in their, that volume. Their sales have been like. When they have sales, there's been like 120. But that's boxes, for, which but is we still don't, we don't know what Asmodee buying. has to a bulk volume dealer. Like it's like well, like, yeah, but like it, you work through your store account, and AC has its online account, and we're going to be given different amounts in stock by the reps that we work nope, with. That's actually not how it works at Asmodee. 
I you I you, I have seen two different numbers from two different reps. You to get Asmodee accounts, you actually have to log in through the retail side of their thing. As a as a store, you can't in the store purchasing thing. It doesn't even show counts. It's their system is trash yeah. on top of trash. What I'm saying is like our AC person will give me a number that I can buy. My store down the street can, is getting a different number that they can buy. Well, like, that's because their reps number. are terrible. Well, that's Asmity. And I'm saying and like, for, there is the potential online person, if they're moving in the thousands, is probably getting a different number altogether. Well, but they ain't moving in the thousands. But you're also the AC selling at 80, account $80. is the AC account is not a retail account. So you may no, have it is limits. An online distribution. Yeah, I do. Yeah, we do. You may have different limits. Like he may look at our account there and be like, oh, you can only ever buy six. That's it. That's the deal. I don't know what the numbers are, but we may have a strict limit there. There's yeah. so much of that stuff that we don't know. And that's the problem is GG can't provide any answers because it's all off an Asmo day land. And they don't but know yeah, what's going on at all. But to speak to what you're thinking, like that, like the, the, the site you're talking about, there's one that ended up selling their, their woe boxes that like was like 86 a, a box or something. Yes. If they bought 200 boxes at a 58 or 60 percent discount, then yes, they made a profit. And no store is buying 200 displays. In that store, on that online store sold everything they had immediately. Twice. Twice. So like that's what I'm talking about. Like if if like your store calls in, they're not going to buy 100 displays, so they're not going to get that number. Uh, no, I I agree. Like we're going to get to a point. That, this is why the, this is why his question is on the list of how how is this selling happening? below our cost, which means they have to be getting a significantly bigger discount to be making. Yeah, and I'm saying anything. his question is not worth asking. Like that is the answer. But that's so what I will say is in our Arkans Corner chat, there is a section that says 10 questions. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and post this here. We are actually still at Arkans Corner looking for your questions. So I know we've talked about it in two different casts, but go ahead and plug them in. If you have a question, you want one of us to be able to ask the that ghost. That is a completely different. <laughs> that is completely <laughs> false. That is not what 10 questions is for. No, I'm just taking nobody over that channel. Nobody questions is for. We didn't, yeah, we didn't pay attention. I didn't make no, that nobody, nobody read the opening portion of that channel. Non-Key Forge questions. Yeah. yeah, and I'm going ahead and putting this right now as an area that I can see is open. Uh, so again, post it in 10 questions, and I'm going to hijack this channel so that we can go ahead and for the next couple of days have things that are tallied versus just us going through the back seat of the Whoopmobile. Um, so go ahead, post your questions in there and, uh, we can go ahead and ask. Yes, right. I guess. I don't want any, I don't want any softball questions though. Hard hitters. Hard, tough questions. Ask the real ones. Right? Right. All right. Uh, JR, why don't you take us through the uh, Won't You Be My Neighbor segment this week? Or don't. Either one. Up to you. Oh, I lost everything. Hold on. All right. So let me see. I have lost all of my stuff. That's awesome. How did I lose? I lost my connection completely. Hold Offered on to guys. the stores. So oh. I give again, real credit to GG here and one being able to connect with stores that have set this up, which you see, it does now say March of 2024. I know it had said January earlier, but March of 2024. Um, and I, I like the, the word idea. maybe next to all these dates. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we'd all be fine. Be like, Just well, maybe March of 2024. <laughs> Well, actually, maybe, maybe March, maybe 2024, then we're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but I, I do like I do like the store. I'm, well, I do like uh, that these are named X and uh, it's, it's something really neat that can be done. 
So pushing us through, I lost you guys for a second. I don't know what happened. I don't know if my internet oh, that just means, went... that means the whole thing's not being recorded. Let's no, the whole thing's being recorded. It's just I think with the we're having inclement weather here in Wisconsin. Uh meaning it's rained cats and dogs pretty much all day. So um we're having inclement weather. Um we're having inclement weather. Um yeah. we're having inclement weather. So why don't you run us through the why uh why won't you be my neighbor segment for this week, JR? <laughs> All right, boys and girls, it's real, real simple. We have worlds. I, I know we were joking about it earlier. It has been a long, long, long time coming. We're on a second company, but the end result is we have worlds. Unless something We, we have more companies magical. running this game than we've had world champions. I know, but people are coming from around the world. Even Sheep, you had been tailing who's coming in, and I believe that we now have access that there's going to be one Chilean who's here. We have, like, it's just, it's... It's what I've always hoped for and to be able to see is to play Keyforge with people from around the world. And it's one thing to do it on TCO. Again, TCO is great, but I love to be able to sit across from someone and to play this game. And we're going to be able to do it. So GG, awesome job. Big hats off. And I'm excited for Worlds. I'm excited for the whole celebration that's going to be happening. Um, even from our Wookmobile going up tomorrow. We're good. This is amazing. I still think you should have been able to get a party bus to come pick me up. We do have a party bus. It's the walkable. Oh, we do no, have a no, party bus. A GG funded party bus to, to go around and gather all the sheep's people. GG clearly said no fun to be had. That is not cool. <laughs> they need to be way more cool in the future. Why, why aren't you, you cool, bro? Yeah, you, you earned the right to have the travel fund. You should get to use it to its fullest. He twice. did. He got. You he got twice. He got. He got a second room, so they don't have to listen to me snore. Yeah, that's the Canadian that's... donation came in hot. <laughs> Canadian donation. <laughs> that uh, that's great. And jams here, <laughs> so that makes it even better somehow. <laughs> I don't know, but I, uh, we did lose uh, a game in Canada, so wahoo. So speaking of um, those name decks, uh, do you guys have some ideas of what you're going to go ahead and use your name decks on now for Grim Reminders? I um, backed the game found. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I no, no, to, no, no, I no, 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 no. This, this, this is softball. This is separate. I, I'm just curious because, I mean, we're talking about Jam. Jam was was there. I know, Sheep, you were messing around with I Lose the Slow Walk. And, you know, so there's a couple. We had our X-Ray Sucks decks from last time, but... I went to time with slow walk and all I got was a shitty duck. Well, X-ray sucks big deck fit. Ooh. <laughs> That's not all a right. good one. No. <laughs> it's not a good one. We did X-ray sucks already. Yeah. It's it was a, so last season. It's 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 last it's, year. It it ran its course. Um... And 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 there's also people at KFC that will tell X-Ray he doesn't suck so much. It's not fun. I think I, uh, we need a Janet deck. Like oh, someone needs to get we a do Janet need a deck. Janet deck. I don't know what we would call that, though. That's a tough one. Yeah, I'll just put some thought on that one. There definitely needs to be a Janet deck. Yeah. Definitely needs to be a Janet. Wow, Josh has just thrown this around. X-Ray got his invite before Sheep. Yeah, he I likes missed. to point out that I suck. Yep. Mm. At like a non-Canadian event, Jeez. I don't need to go to Vol Six year. I'm just gonna fly to Canada. One trip, <laughs> one trip, one and done, huh? <laughs> Jeez, it's gonna be the U.S. invasion. There will never be a Canadian <laughs> that will actually that will actually win a Canadian national. I'm gonna go come come visit, <laughs> and we're all crashing at Jam's place. <laughs> I think at that point he'd be like GTFO. <laughs> <laughs> Die in a fire. Wow, Joe. That's brutal. That's not that's not nice, Jam. That's not nice for me. Oof. Um he started started to realize this is just gonna be the way. <laughs> this, this is, is the be way. a bunch of Americans in Canada every year. Man. Uh, name decks. I used my fun stuff and well, my time. Oh, okay. So Tobin's going with wife and kids' names. That's, I mean, those are always fan favorites, right? Um, 
seems too easy nowadays, though. I don't know. We'll we'll have to think of something. Um, but I mean, no, Wookie, family first, man. Always name it for your family. Uh, my nobody cares about me and my family. <laughs> I, I plan birthday parties, and nobody. Damn it, Janet. That is a good. That would be a good one. It wouldn't pass the sweat filter. Me, but what if it did, Josh? I'm just saying. What if it? What if that one maybe just slipped through? You know, just kind of, you know, just it just it was an accident, and it got hit, up and the approve button got hit. I don't know how deck naming approval works, but let's just say maybe we just look the other way. I don't know. <laughs> I'm wondering if they're gonna deny my next sucks deck. Is it sheep sucks? No. Is it Ewok Probably sucks? Probably not. No, it's probably JM sucks. Is there a choke show and a slow walk deck? There are not. Slow oh. walk would be a good one. Choke show would be a good one. I don't know. But I think we're going to save this for another time. It is good. I think we're just going to do a short short show this week, boys. I mean, we got a lot going on the next few days. Uh, we'll, we'll probably have like a five-hour Patreon episode coming up. Maybe not five hours. I'll probably trim her down. Uh, cause I think we're going to try to record the whole, we're going to try to record the conversation in the car. I don't know how yeah. well this is going to go to be a hundred percent honest with you. We have to, it's always a good time in the vehicle and, uh, it's just going to be really five hours work. of sheep going, they're already drinking. No, no, no. It, it's not, it's, people are it's having not gonna, fun without me. It it's not going to me. It's not going to be five hours, but, you know, we do go Solid back three. and forth with some, some conversation. So why not record it? Let's I mean, it, we'll see what happens. We'll put it out there. Uh, put her up on the Patreon. You guys can listen to it if you want. It it always is good conversation in the car. So and we we never hit the record button. I don't know why. We just don't. Um, but um, I mean, if you guys are around, we'll see you at Worlds. Uh, signed uh, 8x10s of Z will be available. Um, This is not approved by me. What? <laughs> this is how what? we're this is how we're making that money, man. You gotta take one for the team on this. Uh, Okay. $10. Yeah. $10? Damn. Yep. You're pricey. <laughs> there's only there's only two of me, so there's only two of you? Yeah, I made another one of me a while oh. back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. But uh, that's going to do it for us this week, guys. We'll see y'all next week. May the Forge be with you. Oh, sorry. Happy Forging, everybody. <laughs> Ahoy! Ahoy!